Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'll be showing you how to set up two-factor authentication on your I'll be showing you how to set up two-factor authentication on your Samsung account in case you do not know what two-factor authentication is. It's basically a extra layer of protection for any account in that um when you create an account, you usually set a password. Anybody can actually get a hold of the password at any time. Um, sometimes you do use um, the same password across multiple accounts. And when you do that, what happens is that if one account is compromised, they're all compromised. And of course, one of the accounts that might be targeted is your Samsung account. Now, your Samsung account is used within Samsung phone to access certain service and um, features. Uh, most of the time, you do not know about it or you don't even think about it as it's used to back up stuff to the cloud, such as your contacts and so on. But of course, because um, you only um, sign into your account the first time you're logging into your um, Samsung phone, you basically forget about it. But it's actually in the background. It's much like on iPhone, your iCloud account or so on. All right. So let's show you um, what it is and where it can be found. Now, usually you use it in the um, in the Galaxy store. And of course, you do use it to back up your settings and so on on your devices and your pictures and all of that. So to get to your um, account, since this is a Samsung Galaxy phone, it works on any Samsung, Samsung um, S10, S11, S20, you name it. All right, so let's go into settings. Once you're in settings, you may notice a small icon here in the upper right-hand section if you're signed in. Um, in most cases, you should be if it's a Samsung phone. Go ahead and tap. Once you tap, you should be taken to your um, main Samsung account. Notice in here, there's a lot of information. You can change passwords and so on. But of course, there's also the option if you go down here. And so if you go here under um, the option that says um, password and security, tap. And of course, you'll see a bunch of options in here. Um, you have the options as well to change password. Um, if you are looking for that, there's recent activity to see your activity logs to track um to see um, devices that you have used to connect. You can also check there to make sure nobody um, is logging into your account. You can actually remove them from there as well. So let's go here where it says two-step verification. Notice mine is on top. And of course, it will run you through the process. It might ask you again for your password and fingerprint and all of that. Just go ahead and run through the um, process. Once you do, it should be straightforward. Just turn on the option. Once you do, I can cancel mine. I've already done. It should set up the um, process. All right, so just enter your password once more or your fingerprint, depending on what you have set up, and the option will turn on. Once it's on, it means that from now on, um, whenever um, you sign in with your password, if it thinks it's a suspicious attempt, it will send a text or it will just send a text anyway to your account. The text will be shown um, on screen. It should be automatically detected in some cases, or you can just enter the pass, the pin that's given to you in the text. And of course, you'll be let into your account. Now, if somebody else somewhere has your um, account um, and they have the password, you'll find. So if somebody else um, has your password, but they don't have your phone to receive the number, they will not get in. So that's the extra layer of um, protection that two-factor authentication allows. And it's recommended you turn it on on your Samsung account and your other accounts as well to make it that harder for somebody to break into your account. So, of course, um, that wraps it up. Once you have it on, you should be much more secure and protected. All right, guys, Ricardo Gardner from Block Tech Tips. Saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.